Hello YouTube, it's me again. And this is the follow-up to why we must sigh out the black woman. The question that has been asked of me, um, I think, most frequently is what do we do next? And what I think we do next is we target the areas where we want to execute our psyops. I think what we need to do is treat this as a business venture. I mentioned two examples in the first video. One was beauty salons and the second was food preparation and, and, and gross, groceries and food, food preparation. And regardless of what business we ultimately uh, delve into first, we need to create a standard that's similar to a franchise like McDonald's. At McDonald's, you don't have, you know, they, they have what, probably 100,000 McDonald's worldwide but they only have a handful of menus based on the region. In the United States, there's a single menu that's used at all McDonald's. And then that varies when you go into various European countries, Asian countries, African countries, etc., South America, wherever. Those things change. I believe that a single standard will allow us to implement what's called best practices. So we'll figure out what works and we'll share what works with all the others. I don't believe we do this in one, one location. I don't think that's possible. I think we have people who are geographically dispersed. We have brothers in Atlanta, in Houston, in Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Groups of brothers in all of those areas may wish to come together and implement one of these business models that we come up with with the intention of executing a PSYOP. And, and, and let's not get it twisted. Just because we're calling it a PSYOP and because we're doing this for noble reasons doesn't mean we can't make money doing it. We should make money because we have to fund the next PSYOP. We need to target different areas of the economy that's driven by black females in our community and come up with business models that will take advantage of their consumer behaviors and then we can create the messaging that will direct their spending impulses towards ventures that we control. So I think one of the things we have to do is, is, is decide what areas of the black economy we should target, develop business models, and then share those models um, in a hangout, create discussions and relationships, and get to know each other virtually so that we can at some point meet physically and start this process for real. I think that it is something that um, could be very fruitful in so many different ways, particularly when we see that first response. When we target the first area for PSYOP execution and we see the response it's going to be exciting. It's going to be something that is like the shot that was heard around the world when the American Revolution started. It didn't build momentum for many years. But when it started, everyone that heard that shot knew something significant was about to take place. And I think this is what we're going to do with this venture. So um, I'd like to get your feedback. Um,
provide feedback in any way, shape, or form you think um, is necessary for us to move forward. So I don't want to put any constraints. Um, I'm just eager to hear what you have to say. For now, that's it. And uh, look for the next video. Thank you. Oh, one, one more thing. Um, someone asked about the initial funding and there was a response that said we do a GoFundMe. I agree with that, we crowdfund this. We, um, we figure out which city we want to do this in first, which team of brothers are going to uh, help in the physical execution, and then we do a GoFundMe around this. And I think we need to identify the best of video makers and marketeers among us to help us with that initial um, video that we target towards black women uh, to gain their interest and tingle their psychological processes. So anyway, um, I'm over now. I just wanted to cover that last thing. Uh, take care guys and uh, don't forget to like subscribe or share this video. Take care.